All right, welcome back everyone. This is video three in our video series for the LD50 lab. And this one is all about the calculations. So after you have chosen to design your experiment and you figured out kind of the how to's, what you're going to do is you are going to now do the calculations so that you can make it your stock and to make all of your other concentrations. So here are the formulas that we're gonna be using and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that um, on a piece of paper. When you do these calculations, please do them on a piece of paper. Um, show your work because I want you to take a picture of it and upload it when you turn in your analysis questions. Uh, this is important because you may have to do these types of calculations on the AP exam or on the final. And it's really important that you show your work, otherwise you won't get points. So here we go. First thing we need to do is to calculate our stock solution. So our stock solution is basically our highest concentration that we decided to use. So I said in your design, you shouldn't have higher than 5%, um, but say, I don't know, you wanted 5% as your highest concentration or 4% as your highest concentration, right? We gotta figure out what amount of salt and what amount of water do we need to make that happen? So here's the formula. And we're gonna to try to make about 100 milliliters of our stock solution approximately. So it's gonna be the number of grams of salt divided by the milliliters of water times 100 just to get our percent of solution. So here's an example. If we take five grams of salt and 100 milliliters of water, then we've got five divided by 100 times 100, which is 5%. So that's great. However, here's the thing. Your packets are in 0.75, so it's not that easy to get exactly five grams out of these packets. Um, so let's say you wanted to do something else with that. You might decide to change it up or to calculate something else, especially if you don't want to use 5% as your solution. So let's take a look here at um, my notebook and let's go through some of this together. So again, make sure you show your work, upload a picture. I'm just writing this in a notebook. So first thing we're gonna do is calculate our stock solution. Here's our example, the five divided by 100, 700 equals 5%. Great. Um, let's say we have a percent in mind. So let's say I want to do a 4% solution. So what am I searching for? I'm searching for the number of grams that I need, right? So I would do um, the thing that I'm looking for and I wanna to try to make 100 milliliters times 100. And I want to get a 4% solution. Say that was your design, right? Then I can work backwards, do the thing. It's pretty simple when we are doing this with 100 milliliters because this right here then just equals four grams. Do that math, right? So that's great, that's dandy. Um, let's say I wanted to use all of my salt because I know exactly what the grams are, right? Each of them is 0.75. So let's say I decide to use, I don't know, seven packets, um, which is 5.25 grams of salt. In this case, let's say I already know what my percent that I'm looking for is that I'm trying to get, let's say I want to get it to 5%. Okay, right. So the thing in this case that I'm searching for is how many milliliters do I need? So again, you can treat this as like a variable as like X or something, right? So you can do the math on here and then you'll find out that this, I think is about 105 milliliters. So basically, what does this tell you? Let's say I used, I took this one right here. So this was my experimental design. I want my highest solution to be 5% and I'm gonna use all grams of my salt. So basically when I make this solution, I'm gonna take 5.25 grams of my salt, so all seven packets, and add that to 105 milliliters of water. And I can measure that using my graduated cylinder. That's how I'm gonna make my stock solution. Cool, seems simple enough. Um, the idea here is depending on what you already know, say you already know the percent or you already know the amount of grams you want, then you're just solving for the, the missing piece there. Cool, so again, this is up to you, um, but please do not go higher than 5% on your stock solution. 
again, your stock solution is just your highest percentage on there. All right, let's pop back over to the instructions and let's do our second set of calculations here. All right, so now we've got our stock solution, our highest percentage. Now what we're gonna do is called a serial dilution. And what that means is we are going to take our stock solution, the highest concentration, and then we're gonna take some of that and then add in some water to make it dilute, to dilute it, right? So basically what that means is we are lowering the concentration, but again, we have to figure out how much of the stock solution do I need and how much of the water do I need? Like 0% of the salt. So here's the formula. We're basically um, comparing the volumes and the concentrations. So we have the volume of the petri dish sol solution needed over X and X is the amount of stock solution we need. And then that is equal to the concentration of our stock divided by the desired concentration in our Petri dish. Um, so we're using this kind of ratio. And what we can do is we can cross multiply, figure it out, solve for x, and then figure it out. So here's an example. Let's say, um, let's aim for having about 20 milliliters of solution in each Petri dish. So what that means is after we set this up with our mung beans, um, we want to pour in 20 milliliters of our salt solution in each of the petri dishes. So that's the volume that's needed. And then we're solving for X, which is equal to whatever stock solution percentage you have. Maybe you did a 5% stock solution. Maybe you did a 4% or a 4.5. I'm not sure, but this might vary, right? And then this is the concentration that you want to have. So let's say I want to make a 2.5% concentration solution. Cool, so here's my setup there. Then I cross multiply. So that means I take 20 divided by, or times 2.5, excuse me, divided by five, it's gonna equal to X. So then what do I get for X? If I do all this math, I get X equals 10, 10 milliliters of the stock concentration. So what does that mean? That means if I'm trying to make a 2.5% concentration solution, I need 10 milliliters of the 5% stock that I made. Okay, cool. I know how much stock I need. How much water do I need? Well, we're gonna take the total volume that we want, which is 20 milliliters, and we're gonna minus the stock concentration. So we do 20 minus 10 equals 10 milliliters of water. So basically, if I have my stock solution of 5%, I'm going to take 10 milliliters of that stock and 10 milliliters of regular water. I'm gonna mix that up and boom, we have a 2.5% concentration. So this is how you're going to calculate all of your concentrations and how you're going to make them. So let's go ahead and do some of those calculations and I'll a few here so that you can get the idea. So I'm going to call this set of calculations the dilutions, right? So we need the volume of the solution needed over x divided equals the concentration of stock and our desired concentration. So let's say I, again, we always want to make 20 milliliters. So let's do my First Petri dish is going to have 20 milliliters divided by X equals, let's say my stock concentration I made was five. So I'm gonna do my 5% stock over, let's say I want to make a 1% solution, right? So 1% solution, that's what I want. So again, I'm gonna solve for X. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross multiply. So I multiply 20 times one, and that's gonna equal five times X. So that's five X, right? And then I solve for X, so I divide by five. So then I get 20 times one divided by five is four. 
So what does that mean? That means in order to make a 1% solution, I need four milliliters of stock. Um, so let's go ahead and calculate how much water we need. So 20, right, 20 milliliters total minus the four milliliters of stock. That leaves me with 16 milliliters of water. Cool. And then maybe I'll go ahead and just write that out right next to it so that I am super sure I know exactly what I'm going to do. So for my 1% solution, I'm going to need 4 milliliters of the stock plus 16 mils of water. Cool. So now when I go to make these, I have everything just right here. Great. And then you can do your next one. So let's say your second one, I don't know. Let's say you want to make a 0.5 solution. So I've got my 20 milliliters, my X, my stock solution. And again, this number might be different for you depending on what your stock solution is. And then I'm going to have my 0.5% solution. Cool, same thing, cross multiply. So 20 times 0.5 equals 5x and divide by 5. So then I have x equals 20 times 0.5, which is 10 divided by five is two. So in this case, I'm going to have my 0.5% solution is only two milliliters of the stock. And 20 minus two is 18. Great, so that's what you're gonna do for the remaining four of your petri dishes, remember one of them is going to be 0%, so that should be pretty easy um, because there's going to be no salt, right? So calculate your solutions and figure out what your kind of recipe is for each of them, and then you are ready to move on to setup. See you in the next video.